Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Divide Integers with Models. We are going to be using the counter chips in this lesson, so we know that yellow is going to represent positive 1, and red will represent negative 1. Here is a division problem with whole numbers. Let's go ahead and refresh our memories. We know that this first number is called our dividend. That is going to be where we're starting from today. And this is going to be either starting from on the number line or starting with counter chips. Our second number in our division problem is our divisor. And this is how many groups we will be splitting in to. We want to make sure that they are equal groups. And then finally, we have our answer, which is our quotient. And that is how much is in each group, so the amount in the group. So what about negatives? We've seen in some of the previous videos that sometimes a negative is talking about a red counter chip or a negative number on the number line, and sometimes negative is talking about an opposite. Well, anytime that we see our dividend that has a negative on it, we know that that is just going to be talking about a red counter chip or a negative number on the number line. If our divisor has a negative, that is where we're going to be using opposites, and we will use opposites at the end of the problem. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to use that same example, 6 divided by 2. That means I'm starting with 6 yellow chips because I have 6 positive. I would like to always read this as the first number divided by the second number. So the first number split into groups of the second number. 6 split into groups of 2. I'm going to make two groups, and whatever is inside one of those groups will be my answer. So this is three yellow counter chips, so my answer is positive three. On the number line, we are going to be traveling towards zero. This is the opposite of multiplication. So remember, in a multiplication number line problem, you are traveling away from zero, but in division, you are actually traveling towards zero because think you are splitting something into groups. So you want to get rid of all of it if it's split into even groups. So that should make sense. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start at six, and we are going to make two jumps to get to zero. Well, since one of my jumps needs to be zero itself, I only made it one stop in between six and zero. So this was jump one, and this is jump two. And you'll notice that below I went from 0 to 3, and then here I went from 3 to 6, so my answer is positive 3. If I was on this side of the number line, my answer would be negative. In this problem, my dividend is negative, which means that I have 6 red counter chips, and I would like to split my negative 6 split into groups of 2. So I'm going to create two groups around my tiles, and what is in one group is the answer. So I have three red tiles, so that's negative three for an answer. On the number line, I am going to still be traveling towards zero, but this time I'll start at negative six. And I'm going to be making two jumps. So negative six to negative three, and negative three to zero. And my answer is negative because it's on this side. So I have an answer of negative 3. Here I have the opposite. So I actually have six yellow tiles that I'm going to start with. And I want to say six split into opposite groups of two. So first let's split it into two groups. And now I want to find the opposite. Remember, you always find the opposite at the end. So I can find the opposite using counter chips by flipping them over because the other side is negative. Now I count up how many I have in one group. I have three red, so I have the answer of negative three. On the number line, I'm going to be doing something similar with opposites. So let's first solve the problem as if this is not here. I'm going to travel towards zero from six. So I'm going to be making two jumps. I went from six to three and then three to zero. And now I need to find the opposite of that. So I'm actually just going to flip to the other side of the number line. So my answer here would also be negative three. On both of these problems, notice that we solved it negative positive six divided by positive two 
And then at the end, this negative told us to find the opposite. All right, and our last example is negative six divided by negative two. So I started with my six red shifts and I'm going to be saying negative six split into opposite groups of two, of negative two, I'm sorry. So let's go ahead and make our two groups and then we are going to be finding the opposite here. So notice that they turned positive because I flipped them over. So in this first group, I end up with a positive three. On my number line, I am still traveling towards zero. So I'm gonna start at negative six and I'm gonna make two jumps. And then at the end here, remember this negative tells us to find the opposite of that. So I'm gonna actually flip over on the other side of the number line and my answer will be positive three. Let's recap. We know that division goes towards zero and we know that our first number is where we are starting from and our second number is telling us how many groups we have. This number could also be telling us to do the opposite at the end of the problem. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe to watch this and other lessons. Until next time.